Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Soph. I'm Gaynor. And we're going to do some Conan uh, yeah. with Sonia because we do like Sonia. Is it Sonia or, or Sona? So oh, is it Sona? I think she's called Sona. Sona, yeah. do apologise. She's, um, she's his, um, his intern type, not intern. His assistant. No. assistant yeah. Personal assistant. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do Conan and Sona meet with human resources. So uh, this should be funny. interesting. Yeah. yeah. They're all okay. funny. <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay, let's. Blair, what? you are from HR I am. here at Turner. I am. That's terrific. So tell me what's going on with you guys. I have a lot of issues. He tells people that I floated to this country in a basket and that <laughs> he found me in a bush and that I learned how to speak English by watching reruns of Dynasty. I said that <laughs> once to a Rolling Stone reporter. Yes. Okay. And it got printed in Rolling Stone magazine. And how did that make you feel? It didn't make me feel good. He has uh, knocked food out of my hand on more than one occasion. Uh, she'll be having a cookie and be like, oh my God, these cookies in the green room are so good. And she'll be holding it up just perfect, like perfect height mm -hmm. like this. And I'll go and knock the cookie. And sometimes it really goes flying. And if there are people around, they all laugh because mm. they have to, because I'm the boss. <laughs> It's hot in here. Like, if we're out at a store or something running an errand, he'll tell the workers, you better watch out for her because she steals. <laughs> and that must, that must really hurt your feelings. We went to this store. This is a shop for glasses for me. And you were looking around at all the cases on your own. <laughs> I said, keep an eye out for this one. Mm. She's got sticky fingers. Mm. <laughs> but do you understand how that might make her feel? Like a criminal. Exactly. <laughs> what if I say a few things yes, now? Yes, please go ahead. Thank you. If, is it my turn? Yes. <laughs> um, you routinely call me a dick, <laughs> a monster. Uh, you say that uh, I'm Irish, so all I do is eat potatoes. Because I think she does a lot, which is she says, I'll ask her something on the phone, and I'll say, can you do that? And she'll say, yes. And she hangs up, and then it goes right out of her head. Hmm. And that happens a lot. I forget a lot. So now, how do we how do we resolve that? Maybe less edibles at night. Okay. <laughs> uh, what well, we do some, outside of the workplace. Thank you. Shouldn't matter. She what happens some, inside the workplace? She chomps them like Scooby snacks. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. What if outside the uh, office behavior affects inside the office behavior? Well, that's a different story. Yeah, and that's my story. <laughs> uh, because I think sometimes you are so whacked out on your wacky tobacky, uh, your chewy galooies, as I think the kids call them, your hemanahaminas, uh, your jub jubs and gelatos, your red we get, I think. <laughs> I think that there is a mental block I have about helping him because. <laughs> um, Does he say please wait, and wait, thank you? Wait, 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 this was huge and you jumped in. You jumped in. I apologize. I, she I has apologize. a mental block okay. against I helping me. She's my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> you have a mental block against assisting me. Let's understand why. Let's understand why. I think uh, some positive reinforcement okay. would be nice. And also, it would be great if he stopped being so passive aggressive all the time. I'm not passive aggressive. These are slanders. These are libels. I am not a passive aggressive man. I am but a man. He calls safe space. He goes into character when he doesn't want to address reality sometimes. This is not true. I disagree. I think I'm always comfortable in any space. He's been on the edibles. <laughs> the, the bits that he, this never stops. It never, but you, the bits are never ending. You do work for a comedian, an artist. Not any comedian. Right, an comedian. artist. <laughs> One of the great comedians. Correct. Oh my God. <laughs> you work for a comedian? How many comedians right now does TBS have? Oh, right. A few. The impractical jokers. <laughs> Can we talk about his neediness, too? Yes. Jokers. Maybe before we get to that, how needy he needs. Well, it's to. always the impractical jokers. Of those wags from Staten Island. Have you ever been to one of those, um, like, psychologist people that talk to you like that? Like a therapist? Yeah. No. It's so frustrating. Like, 
I can't understand people who go for like marriage counselling or anything like that and, yeah. and speak to somebody like that. Like, tell me, how does it make you feel? Like, yeah. Feeling the blood boiling, like, <laughs> stop talking to me like an idiot. No, I know. It's, it, can be, it can come across, I think, as quite patronising. Yeah. And obviously they're there to help, but I think for me, I, I think I could never talk to someone like that about, I would never go and talk to someone like that about my no. problems, I'd just no. go and speak to my friends. Yeah. I don't know. Have you yeah. ever been, like, been, like speak, spoke to anyone like that? Yeah, so I, my doctor sent me, probably when I was 17, because I had an eating disorder, and it was the same thing, it was like, so what makes you want to eat something and then throw it up? And I'm like... I don't know. I've eaten a, a, a full cake. Yeah. I feel sick, so I'm obviously going to throw it up. Yeah. But then it got into a habit of like, because I was tra- trying, to, trying to stay really slim, mm. I would eat and then just throw it up and it just kept, became a habit. And I was like yeah. losing more and more weight. But So they sent yeah. me to see one of these people. It just made it worse because I was sat there thinking, yeah. well, I know, how to, I know I can stop. So why, why have you sent me here? But it's no, like, I, I guess it does help some people but it's one of them it won't help everyone no and also they, everyone deals with they, they obviously think that the reason you're doing it is it's something in your life that's caused it of course yes there's like i feel like there's got they always think like there's got to be like a reason for everything yeah, like yeah. And, and not even a reason like an explainable reason where it's like oh we can fix this like yeah yeah you know, you've I don't got know. an eating disorder but do you do you have a good relationship with your dad what's that got to do with the price of milk <laughs> well that's what i mean i feel like they, they delve yeah, they're probably a bit dip, too yeah. deep and probably a bit too personal. Yeah. Where you're like, this, that's not what I'm here for. Like, we just like get back on like the, yeah. the topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go back a little bit, I think. Uh, yeah. Two? Yes. Jokers. Maybe before we get to that, how needy he needs. Well, it's always the impractical jokers. Those wags from Staten Island. They get all the glory. <laughs> I'm sorry, fellas. I didn't mean to go after you. I knew you all grew up on a landfill. <laughs> I hope they have some good tricks that they can play mm. we'll see. on that orphanage. Yeah. We'll see. Go in there and tell those kids that we found a father for them. <laughs> now tell them there's no father! <laughs> Impractical jokers. Sometimes he'll come up and he'll be like, hey, stupid called, and it says it's you. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> you get it? If I just said you were stupid, I agree. That's not funny and that's abusive. Mm. But if I tell you that you got a phone call and you're like, oh, really? And I go, yeah, stupid's on line one. <laughs> and he says that he's you, which meaning by implication, yeah, thank you. Thank you. he's stupid. <laughs> oh, man, that's a home run. That's a home run. That is like, have you ever seen the movie The Natural? When, when Robert Redford hits that ball and it hits, it not only goes out of the park, it hits the lights at night and they explode. And I'm just rounding the bases in slow motion. I'd just be slowly going around the bases and showering down sparks. But do you know that most people do have feelings? No idea. <laughs> I believe Sona has feelings. I have feelings. What? I do, I have feelings. Why didn't we talk about this before? I tell you all the time, I, I tell you to stop, you know, Telling people I steal babies from the marketplace. You've people never been tempted babies. to steal a baby at the marketplace? I think the stealing <laughs> theme keeps coming up here. Why does this stick to you, the stealing thing? I mean, I used to steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You used to steal. What did you. Wow. I was totally kidding around. So this is a breakthrough. I stole a little sticker book from Sanrio years okay. ago. I stole Skittles from Blockbuster. I stole a stick of gum once from the uh, market. I stole a bracelet from Express. I stole another bracelet from Express. Okay. Someone told me to return it, and I did. And then I, uh, I stole a headband from Urban Outfitters once. I stole a hat. Okay. This, this, quite this a lot. Is, so there's end. some validity this here. Is a, this is a crime spree that okay. the Hillside Strangler would envy. So here we are at uh, Sona's desk. Nothing sets t- the tone like right. this sign okay. right here. Yeah. I mean, people <laughs> see this sure. when they come in. Sure. Mm-hmm. I've done so much for Sona, and sure. all I ask in return is little things like this. Hey, Conan. Oh, hey, Sona, what's going on? I'm just enjoying some cookies. Oh, where'd you get them? I got them from the green room. Oh, they look absolutely delicious. No. <laughs> That's all That's I'm all asking for asking. in return. That gives me so much joy. Look. Yeah, still eat it. The cookie's still on the floor. I mean, I'm glad that you got joy. 
It's, it, it was on the, you get that? We're pals, we are pals, and this works for us. It's sick, it's wrong, very little's accomplished. Very, very little, yeah. It's insanity and it yeah. should be stopped. It's your job to stop it, mm. but you won't stop it. Would, would, would you like to be fired? Here? I think we should both be fired. <laughs> I was thinking that. This is great. <laughs> you happy now? I think that's Conan, an art piece of Conan in, yeah. is it Starburst Papers? Which one? There. It looks like Star, I don't know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It looks like you're made out of like some like... But there's also like that, it looks like a box, if you go back a little bit. Like it's behind oh, him. Oh, I think that might be on. him. <laughs> 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 can see the resemblance. Be my assistant. This is great. This you happy now? You did this. I didn't do it, you did it. I'm gonna get a job at a Burger King and you're gonna be my assistant. I didn't crush it at Burger King. Let's get her out of here. Hello there. Friends for life, right? <laughs> they are great together. They are. <laughs> They're like an old married couple, they I are, think. Aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I enjoyed that. Um, thank you so much for watching along. Um, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do. We'd appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.